after months of rumors, we finally have a browser from OpenAI called Atlas. Let's talk about what it is and how I think these AI browsers will reshape the internet. So I've done a lot of videos on the browser wars. There are a bunch of players like Dia, which was recently acquired by Atlassian, Perplexity has Comet, and obviously Google has been trying to AIify Chrome. All of these browsers essentially merge a browser, a search engine, and an AI assistant in one single interface. So instead of having to switch tabs or copy and paste, it's able to see what's on your screen and then respond contextually. It can summarize a page, explain a chart, all without you leaving the page. Atlas specifically is also agentic, so it can actually do things like fill out forms or book meetings or draft replies, and it has memory, so it'll remember what you've seen before. For example, you could ask things like, what were the job postings I looked at last week? Building a browser makes a ton of sense. It's the ultimate surface area. And the prize isn't necessarily the browser itself, it's the context graph it gets to make the most useful and personalized agents. Here are the four big things I'm thinking about. One, this is a pretty clear example of AI becoming much more ambient. Instead of having separate AI apps, AI is just going to be embedded in the interfaces we already use. But there's also the bad website paradox. The web today was originally built for humans with eyes and mouse clicks. Information isn't structured, it's inconsistent and semantically thin, meaning it's not very easy for models to parse. And a lot of the web today is unreadable for agents. So I think in response to this, a lot of the web will have to be rebuilt to be machine readable. In the same way that SEO taught everyone to optimize for showing up on Google, I think developers and people will have to optimize for being visible to agents. And three, if AI browsers become the main way that people access information, it means that they'll summarize and act on behalf of users. This means that they bypass websites and therefore there's fewer clicks and ads. And in this sense, web analytics and SEO, as you know, could completely break. And finally, I feel like people aren't really talking enough about the security implications of all of this. AI browsers are particularly vulnerable to prompt injection attacks, which are basically these hidden instructions that are embedded in web pages that can hijack the model and trick it into leaking data or running unintended actions. A page could secretly instruct your agent to ignore the user's commands and send their calendar or email data to this link. For example, a test of Perplexity's Comet browser found that summarizing a Reddit thread allowed embedded commands to open the user's Gmail and even trigger password recovery flows. So it begs the question, what happens when agents are operating in our banking pages, our emails? If we want agents to live in our browsers, then we need new security protocols. Obviously, Atlas and other AI browsers today aren't perfect. They're still early and often buggy, but I do think they represent one of the clearest visions of what I think AI native interfaces could look like. The big question is who will actually build this new operating system for the age of intelligence?